three part series with Dr. Ian Dunbar. And tonight is all about manners. Yes, ma'am. That's right. Would you like some more wine? I'd love some more wine. Thank you very much. Ooh, manners, a great relationship builder. I can really get used to this. And we'd move on to the third thing to teach. All right. Manners. Manners. Oh, yeah, the biggie. Just... Well, it, it is and it isn't. I mean, I know people that live with a dog and the dog doesn't understand a single word. Right. And they live quite happily and the dog's happy and they're happy. I like to teach dogs words and I like to have a vocabulary so I can communicate with the dog. And, and that is essentially what the you know, training is, teaching right. dogs English as a second language and giving sure. English words for doggy behaviors and actions. And so food treat, lure reward training, come here, sit, lie down, stand roll over, just for starters, then maybe follow me, come here, fetch, go to. With fetch and go to, it's a vocabulary learning uh, exercises. You can say fetch this, or fetch tennis ball, fetch car keys, fetch remote control, right. sure. fetch glasses. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Yeah, and then go to, it can be um, go to your bed, go outside, right. go upstairs, downstairs, back to the car, front to the car. You know, go to Jamie, go to Kelly, names of people. Right. And it's have fun uh, with it. And now right. we have a vocabulary so we can communicate to the dog what we want them to do. And then if we're smart, we try and see things from the dog's point of view and to motivate them to want to do what we want them to do. So when we say heal, the dog says, damn right. You right. know, right. and I think. But he can understand you. Yes, he understands He's not it. just being yelled a word like, banana, yeah. banana, <laughs> banana. He's, what? I don't know what you want me to do. Now he gets what heal actually means because you've taught him. Yeah, I mean, you could actually train a dog to heal to the On word banana. banana. Why not? Yeah, but the main thing is, I think, motivating dogs to want to do things because... I find I find people's attitudes about dogs like um, you. I tell you down. You will lie down if you want. I'm going to squish you and make your life a misery. I think this is meant to be a relationship. Right. And I look on asking a dog to heal, no different from say asking my wife to dance or my son to ski. I don't have to grab them both by the neck and jerk them or flip them on the ground if they say no. Right. It's like hopefully this is an enjoyable thing we do together. And that, to right. me, is what training is. And so when I say heal, I want the dog to say, good, cool. You mean walk by your side? Couldn't think of anyone better to walk next to. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, too guys. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting that manners actually came last out of all of those things, because mm -hmm. when I said the big one, I think that's what families really think that they want. Yeah. But they don't realize how important the other stuff is so important. to keep the dog happy in your house. To keep him in the house, yeah. Right. The, the behavior problems are what keeps the dog in the house. The temperament problems, preventing a dog becoming fearful or reactive or aggressive, allows you to have people over without right. putting the dog away right. and then walking the dog. And you can really have good quality of life. But if your dog is reactive to children or kids on skateboards or men or strangers, people in uniforms or other dogs, you aren't going to have as much fun with it right. as I have with my dogs. Right. And you know your house is party central because you've got the kids and all their right. friends are coming over. You cannot afford to have a dog who's worried about all those strangers coming in because your kids make new friends mm -hmm. every year. And your dog's world will eventually just get smaller and smaller if and smaller do and smaller yeah. if you don't do it because your life is probably not going to change. So that's sad. the reality. So. Yeah, like if you're on Facebook every night and that's your social life, I mean, your dogs are going to end up being fearful. Absolutely. So what we can do with the socializing of the puppy, we can get our social life back to where it should be, like that's talking right. to people having them round, entertaining exactly. them, and having a bit of a giggle. And some Party exercise, go for yeah. walks. <laughs> Three fantastic tips there from the Mac Daddy himself. Have you ever been called the Mac Daddy? Actually? No, I have not, <laughs> I actually. think this could be your first. Uh, this it is, is a, a first. first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we put them into a tip sheet for you, so you can download that, and then you can put it in your purse, and you can get cracking on it today, because you don't want to miss out on this really, really important time. No. And you know what? It's, it's not just about you and your dog and the difference you can make there you can actually make a difference in the world. Like this video, share it, tweet it to the world. The message is really important. Poor Dr. Dunbar has been doing all the work himself. He's been traveling around the world, trying to get the good word out. At least we could give him a day off. All it. you need to do is sit back yeah. and have a beer. Have I a will beer. Have a Thank you so <laughs> much. Thanks Thank so you. much. Appreciate it's it. been great. Thank you. So there you have it. Prevent behavior problems before they start. 
socialize your puppy, teach him some manners, and you'll have a great family dog. And if it all goes to the dogs, we're here waiting for you with a nice glass of wine. So email us with your questions. Questions, questions at thefamilydog.tv. We'll be waiting for you. See you then. Um, mm -hmm.